So let's look at our MNIST data set. Our MNIST data set was, uh, was 784 dimensions. And on, we do a dimensional reduction using PCA and go to 2D. Again, we are back on Christopher Ola's blog here, which I showed you earlier in this chapter, uh, where, when we were discussing, when I was explaining what MNIST is, data set is all about. So what they've done is they've taken the 784 dimensional data set, they've computed PCA, uh, and they've projected it to top two eigenvectors, V1 and V2. Okay, so this is this direction is V1, this direction is V2. Okay, and as usual, just like a raw data, each of these data points corresponds to one value and they're colored, so different numbers. So what are our YIs? Our YIs are, so our YIs belong to 0, 1, 2, 3, so on, so forth, 9, right? So this color coding helps us understand how well this dimensional reduction has worked out or whether it has worked out or not, okay? So uh, let, let's look at it, let's look at it, okay? So let me get rid of this mouse pointer, okay? So all these reds are your zeros. So as you see here, this is your zero, right? So just, just follow my mouse pointer. This is zero. So these red points are all your zeros, right? These uh, brown points are all your ones. So one thing that you'll quickly notice is all your zeros are roughly in this region. These are all your zeros, okay? All your ones are roughly in this region, okay? These are your ones, okay? Now comes the hard part. So your ones and zeros are fairly well separated. So you know that in the high dimensional space, because we don't, we can't visualize 784 dimensions, right? What I've done is I've literally taken these 784 dimensional data, computed PCA, got V1, V2, and I've projected all the data onto V1 and V2. One thing that you'll quickly notice is that all the zeros are grouped together. All the, one thing you'll notice here is all the zeros are grouped together. All the ones are also well grouped together. But for the rest of them, it's still not very, very clear. For example, if, if we see, if you see these light green points here, these points are twos. You see some twos here, you see some twos even here. So twos are spread all over the place. So twos are there, if I, if I have to draw it, you can find twos all over this region, right? Or even some here actually. So twos are not well separated. So uh, why am I telling you that well separation is important? If you go back to our if, if you go back to our simple uh, exploratory data analysis, what did we do there, if you recall? So we so if this data is well separated, so let's take our example, right? Let's take our ones here, okay? Since they're well separated, since they're almost here, I can draw a simple if-else condition. I can say that if v1 is less than some value here, let's say this value was two, and this value was, let's say, 10. If v1 is less than two, and v2, is less than 10, then I know that my data point, I know that my data point, my yi, I know that my yi equals to one, right? If data is well separated, even zeros, right? I can actually put a bounding box here. I can put a bounding box like this, and I can say, if, if, if v1 is greater than, let's say, let's assume this was 10, okay? And this was also 10. If v1 is greater than 10, and, v2 is less than 10, greater than 10 and less than 10, which means this region, then yi equals to one, right? So for zeros, for zeros which are here and for ones, right? This, this type of PCA visualization is helping us understand that I should be able to write simple if-else rules to separate my zeros and ones, right? But what about others? They're all around the place. We saw the Tisney visualization a while ago, right? where all the points were very neatly separated, right? PCA is, is a weaker is a weaker dimensional reduction algorithm. It's not the best algorithm, by the way. It's actually one of the simplest algorithms, one of the most fundamental, one of the, probably one of the oldest techniques that I know of for dimensional reduction, okay? So this is the output of dimensional reduction of applying PCA on 784 dimensional data to get to, to see a two-dimensional visualization. Uh, in the next section, we'll see TSNI, which will provide much, much better results. So I think when I introduced MNIST dataset, I showed you the TSNI output to motivate you uh, that dimensional reduction is an interesting technique that we should learn and pursue.